This is the moment of truth right here. This is what we're always waiting on and we're really anticipating a, a good hunt. We, we try to do this every year. Roll Tide right there. Roll Tide, baby. <laughs> we got to get going and, and rolling, so here in a bit, we're going to be in the timber. Let me get out of the way here. Good <laughs> Lord. Well, we're at our first spot here. We've had a lot of wind today. It's not very cold, but uh, got a good uh, good report that there were some coons in here. We'll talk a little bit more about how how these guys, you know, choose these places and stuff like this. And we're going to really base a lot on the dogs. Uh, the dogs are the, are the big emphasis right here, and uh, we're we're getting them loose right here. So let's uh, let's take a look at the dogs and see which ones we're using tonight. We got uh, all old dogs. We got uh, two six-year-olds and a seven-year-old. Uh, all of them titled dogs. Now, what does that mean? Uh, they've been put in the hunts and achieved. Two of them are night champions. One of them was a grand night. Yeah. So these. We should have. So you got no excuse. <laughs> we have no excuses tonight. And we're running. Uh... Two females now, now these male. are uh, black and tans, is that uh, right? No, <laughs> no, these are walkers. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you, that's a big old dog right there. He is. He's about I mean, he, pounds. He's big. He is a big one, sure oh, enough, now. Yeah. Get all the collars in there. By yeah, the way, we put all, all, there all three dogs. That's another neat thing about these. We've all got the Garmin units here. The neat thing about it is that you can have each other's collars on here too. So that makes it kind of nice. So everybody kind of knows where the dogs are regardless of the unit that they look at. Mine says dog has treed quarry. Oh, Chad well, says treed. a tree. That's treed. what it said. The old Garmin said dog has treed quarry. They're there. You know, we're up here in North Missouri uh, tonight. Uh, this is what we consider a crop country. Yeah. Uh, you know, up here they have a, a lot of food throughout the year. This time of year, your uh, coon are focused on some of this bigger timber, getting some of this acorn, acorn country. Now that the crops have been been harvested. Yeah, and they're always around the creeks. You, you know, bet. There's always, best feed always grows more around the creeks. That's, that's right. Just, that's just how it is. You know, that's you'll right. find some up on the ridges, mostly around water. You know, coons like to travel ditches, uh, natural travel corridors. You know, creeks, uh, your uh, main hauler that's, that's jutting out of a good track of timber, it seems like that's always a good coon cross. Yeah, yeah, and down home, especially, you know, you got more timber than anywhere else, so so you really got to concentrate on, on the food and the water. That's right, that's right. Uh, lots of dens is, is important. They've got to have a place to live. That's right. You can you can save yourself a lot of walking knowing, knowing where to turn your dog loose to go find the coon. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This is the fun part well, right here. It's good exercise. You know? that, that's part of it. It is part of it. It's not knowing what's going to happen. Nothing's scripted. Yeah. All right, we've, we've made it back in here after quite a bit of a journey. <laughs> Good Lord, huh? Cloud, cloud field, mountain. We've done it all, but we've got the coon right there. And uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to try to get the dogs subdued. They've been on, they've been on the tree for a while. So we're going to pull the dogs back and uh, take a look at this coon up a little bit closer, and then we're gonna knock him out, John. Knock him out, John. But Ooh, there he is, he's, uh, he's just right there. So let's go get him. All right, so we got him up there. He's a big one. I tell you, he's a boar this time of the year and everything. And as big as he is, I expect he's got to be a boar. So we pulled the dogs back. We want to make sure that when the dog, the coon falls out, it doesn't land on one of the dogs. So we pull them back and get them to hush up and sit back. And then when we knock it out, and once it hits the ground and is dead, then we let the dogs go in and, and mouth it a little bit. And that way they kind of get the reward. They've chased it, they've chased it probably a mile. And, so now they get the reward. So they've been sitting on that tree probably for a half hour, 45 minutes. So we got here. Hopefully I can knock it out with one shot. I got this this new Breda Neo. 
that them boys did last year, they didn't let me shoot. So this year I get first shot. So no pressure, because like I said, Chad missed three times. So I get at least three shots for that. So. You gotta let them do it, don't you? Yeah. Well, they they gotta they gotta have reward. They do all that work. You can't not ever give them anything. So you, you gotta let them. I mean, they they're bred for this. This is what they do, and they and they have to have that reward at the end of the trail. You know, Randy, we travel around the country. We go to a lot of hunts, uh, pleasure hunt, different different places throughout the country. Uh, you know, to me, that's where a walker dog suits me. Uh, we we're not blessed with living in coon country like a lot of people. Uh, you know, we have big timber. You know, you're, you're always looking for that balanced town that can fly through the country, not skip over tracks, pick up them bag tracks, work them up and, and run with them. You bet, you bet. And put a coon on them. And you have them. That, that's, what, that's the most important thing a dog can do no matter what. You bet. Is when you get there, them have one in the tree. Yes, sir. You know, I'm a firm believer. Once, and once they tree, I want them to stay treed. It's a boar coon. Boar shoot coon. the boar coons out so we're not hurting the population no. one bit. Nope. And uh, just having a big time out here in the dark and the night, it's a pleasant night. You're sweating. Oh, I'm always sweating. And uh, we're just going to see if we can get another one. Yeah, time. yeah, I'm ready. You're ready, ain't you, You bro? betcha. You just won't lose a little weight Oh, anyway. I got two, three more miles in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's going to skin this one? Uh, Sam. Sam still? Same old Sam. Yeah, carry, carry and skin, that's Sam. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now what we want to do, anytime we start a hunt, we want to start a new hunt. So, Sam, show them here what we're going to do. We'll come down here and push the menu, and then we'll hit it twice. Now it brings us up here, and then it's just start new hunt. And you push enter. It says, do you want to clear the previous information? Yes. We just clear that. Do you want to mark this as the truck? And that's very important because, well, so now we're done. This starts a new hunt. So we push dog, and we got two dogs 335 yards that way, and we got another dog 100 yards behind us. So we can push the map and see where the dogs are. We can push here, tell us north, south, east, and west tell us how many yards they are away. But by starting that new hunt, we now know that no matter how far we chase the dogs, all we gotta do is go go to, and it brings us right back to the truck. It tells us how far the truck is. Well, dog one has treed. You just saw it on here right there. And it's the closest dog too. Yeah, that's a poison plus. <laughs> all right, let's, let's see. What do you think, Chad? I'm ready to go there. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, this is just part of it. You know, you you get plowed fields you walk over and up hills, down hollers, and big timber, small patches and everything. You never know where you're going to be when it comes to no. when you tree your coon and stuff. But, man, that's that's just part of it. We've got... This one's running for the end of the limb. We've got two, two coon up this tree. So she's... Is it she or he? She. She's done got two trees boogered up one one so uh that's pretty cool right there had a girl got another one man that's a tree that is a big tree right there well, you can climb that one, uh i'd have to take my shoes off that's a big old tree right there We had two in this tree, so uh, shot one out, and uh, it, it was tough. Two coons, Chad. Two coons. Two coons. So uh, we've done all right right here. We've got all three. Well, fixing to have all three dogs in the box. We're gonna take a little break and drink of water and kind of gather ourselves. Then we're gonna go to another farm, ain't we? We're gonna head over to another place and. Uh, See if we can't get another run. I bet we can. I believe we can. You know, coons like to travel ditches, uh, natural travel corridors. They're, you know, creeks, uh, you're a main hauler that's, that's jutting out of a good track of timber. It seems like that's always a good coon crossing. Yeah, yeah, and down home, especially, you know, you got more timber than anywhere else. So, so you really got to concentrate on, on the food and the water. That's right, that's right. Uh, lots of dens is, is important. They've got to have a place to live. That's right. You can, you can save yourself a lot of walking knowing, knowing where to turn your dog loose to go find the coon. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We ain't just, you know, we ain't just all crazy just walking around out in the dark. <laughs> But it is partly, uh, partly. But it is fun. You've got to be 
a little different to do it. Yep. He's just right up here. He's not very far now. And uh, we've got uh, Sam and Chad are already up there at the uh, edge of the trees. And I have to talk now because the closer we get, of course, we can't hear anything but the dog barking. So uh, we've got him treed right up here just a few yards now. So uh, we're going to try to ease in here and hopefully this coon will be here. Ooh. Why is it they always have to climb the biggest hill? Man, that's a good one. And we're a flatland. Yeah. And we get something like this. That's the neat thing about it. I mean, all the squalling and everything else, but it's right up there, right off the end of my finger. So we're going to, uh, we'll knock this coon out right here. I don't know who the shooter is. I think Chad deserves maybe another shot or Randy. But uh, that's what it's all about right there, boys. That's why these dogs work hard and, and uh, get that coon up a tree. Darren Wiseman and I own Legend together. Uh, breed a lot of females. Don't hunt him a lot anymore, and and it uh, it was sure enjoyable getting to turn him loose tonight up here and see him work again. Uh, guy takes for granted a lot of times your your dogs and and you get busy doing other things, but uh, every time I turn him loose, we Darren and I really enjoy it a lot. You know if you miss this coon, what's going to happen? Did you hit it? Oh, huh? They've been dogging him all night long. All night. <laughs> all night they've been dogging you about yeah, one last year. It took you, what, 15, 16? Oh, now come on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like another 20 pound plus coon, Sam. Silver, too. Big old silver coon. Another yep. big old boar coon. He's a. He's really rutting. He, he smells kind of like an old buck. <laughs> <laughs> he smells like he's rutting. He does. I think that's why they get on him so much this time of year. I, they do. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if they, if a dog even, maybe even catches the scent of a boar more. And you kill more boar in the wintertime. Right. Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with their, their stronger scent. Yeah. Well, you can, if we can smell them more, you know they that, can smell That's right. Them more. That is exactly you right. Know. But look at that. That is a beautiful hide. He I mean, is. That's a good hide. Good hide. Thick coat. All we've taken is big coon tonight. Big boar coon tonight. Yep. And all of them boars. All of them boars. Well, it's a shame that coon hunters get a bad rap when they don't need it. You know, they don't, they shouldn't, they shouldn't have a bad rap. There's these, these, I have been with these guys numerous times and I have never seen these dogs, any of these dogs they have. And we have different dogs every time we come. None of them have ever run a deer. And uh, these, these guys right here are a tribute to the sport and I'm, I'm proud to be, be friends with them. And I tell you what, as long as there's a G3 Sportsman, we're gonna still coon hunt, I guarantee you that. But, uh, you know, that's all the time we got for this week's show. Wish we could stay out here longer, but uh, time constraints are having us out of here. So uh, just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Now, how many times did you shoot that coon? I think just once. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs>